Hello, so this is Wayne from Everything Dorset, and today I'm in Wimborne, I'm at the Allendale Centre, I'm here with Jane and Vince, and they're gonna have a little chat with us about what's going on here. So, uh, Vince, um, what's the background of the Allendale Centre? So the Allendale Centre was opened here on January 31st, 1975, which means we're celebrating our 50th anniversary next January, and uh, the centre has been run mostly by the council throughout its history um, and uh, a lot of the time by volunteers as it's built up uh, gradually uh, from that time. It was extended in 1982 uh, to include the quarter jack suite and some of the uh, rear areas of the building and there was also an extension at the front of the building uh, for the cafe and offices. Excellent. So it's uh, yeah, it's been it's nearly celebrating its 50th anniversary, which is which is fantastic. Yeah. To keep keep it going all this time, absolutely fantastic. So um, there's obviously very famous for your events here. There's lots of events on all the time. Um, so it's hard to believe. You know, like one one day you've got wrestling, the next day you've got um, a you know ACDC um, acts. There's so many. There's loads of different things on all the time, isn't there? What what's coming up soon? We've got uh, a wide range of shows coming up soon from uh, amateur theatre. We have uh, Wimborne Musical Theatre coming with their Aladdin show. Uh, we have, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Dirty DC, the ACDC tribute. Uh, we have Mew, a Muse tribute, the Sidonia Knights, coming in April. Uh, then, uh, more closer to uh, today, we have the Fleetwood Mac tribute. Uh, Fleetwood Mac songbook. We have a tribute to Elvis and Jackson, the two kings of America. And there's a lot more shows coming up throughout the year. Um, a lot of tribute bands. We have a tribute to uh, TFI Friday coming up oh, wow. uh, in November. And uh, also an Elton John tribute um, right at the end of the year. Um, and we're trying to build up more of a theatre uh, as well as live music here uh, at the Andel. So we're looking to bring in more theatre shows as well as uh, other events. Uh, we have, uh, we, just last night, we had a swing band for a charity night. And we're also uh, stretching out what we're doing in, uh, in cinema. So we have uh, two cinema clubs at the moment running. We have our high contrast cinema, which bring in lovely 1940s and 1950s black and white cinema. Uh, and we have our free family cinema club, which is children's films, um, live action and uh, animated. And they are completely free for families to come and watch uh, once a month on a Sunday. That's incredible. So you can actually come along with your whole family, watch your film for free. And Absolutely. I guess there's refreshments as well available? Refreshments, yeah. We're even looking to put some hot food on bacon butties and things. Excellent. Uh, it's, uh, and I noticed you've got an amazing cafe here. It, it's so busy. Is that all down to the great coffee you've got there in there, Jane? I think it probably is, definitely. Um, it's, it's been very popular since it started. Um, all the cakes are homemade, um, all gluten-free hot food available all the time. Um, yeah, so it's always been popular. Considering that we're not in the centre of town, it's incredible how, how good it really is, yeah. or how busy it really is. And you've, and, all, all, and you've also got the food supply here, haven't you? That, that's for yes. people who, who are in need in the area? Yeah, that's right. And the good thing about it is that, um, unlike the food bank, they don't need a voucher. So we, we um, accept requests from anybody who's genuinely in need. Um, they can come here and collect food. Um, we have quite a few recipients that we deliver to as well. Oh, great. And do they need to register with you for that? Will they just turn up and just... They, we do have both. Yes. We have both. Um, people can certainly turn up. We do take details from them, but as I say, there's no, it's not means tested. It's not, um, it doesn't require a voucher. No, and you at the weekends you have uh, Wim Wimble Market moved here, didn't didn't it? When the a old market closed, a lot of the closed. storeholders did. Yes. So yes. is that is that Friday and Saturday and Just Sunday? Friday. Just Friday. Just okay. Friday. Yeah. And that's at the front of the building, isn't it? 
both car park. actually. We've yep. got some store holders in the car park. So we've got fruit and veg, cheese, olives, meat, um, eggs, uh, homewares. Um, and then inside we've got two large rooms with um, antiques and collectibles, crafts, cakes, eggs again. Um, it takes over the whole well, it does take, <laughs> yeah. it takes over everything, yes. Yeah. It's, it's a great, there's a great buzz to a Friday here. Fantastic, so come on down everybody. So also you, you, you offer room hire here, don't you? You've got, how many rooms do you actually have? We have four main rooms. We have two large rooms, the Minster Hall, which has the stage. Um, then we have the large quarter jack hall. Um, and then two smaller rooms. We've got um, a small Julian room, and then we've got the Camford room, which is ideal for sort of meetings and things like that. It takes about 40 people. But they're, again, they're busy. Excellent. So you can cater for any you know, sort of small business to large business. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, Whether it's a one to one interview or, um, or a huge theatre event, as Vince has been saying. Yeah. We, yeah, we have a lot of uh, companies come here to use us for conferences and things mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they set up uh, all their uh, conference uh, equipment and, yeah. and everything and uh, mm. host uh, big uh, events. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the, uh, the events which you have here, like the music events for example, how do you book those? You, do they do it on the, on the Allendale website or do they, do they have to come in to get the tickets or can they do both? Or? There is a range of different ways that uh, we can uh, uh, do bookings with us. So they can book through Jane um, uh, as an event, so they hire us. Or for bands and theatre shows, we can hire them. Or we also do a, uh, a box office share where we'll take 30% uh, take and the company will take 70% uh, of the ticket profit. Excellent. And I see a really good way to keep up to date with things happening here at the Allendale Centre is you've got an email newsletter, haven't you? How do they subscribe to that? Is that on the website? The, you can subscribe through the website. There's a little box at the bottom of the, uh, the home page for su subscriptions. Uh, we also, uh, uh, if you look at a lot of our um, handouts, flyers and that, there's a QR code on there. That'll take you straight to the subscription page. Um, or if you just search Allendale and subscribe. Excellent. Um, I see you have a lot of weekly events here as well, um, Fins, don't you? Um, they, they, they're very varied as well, from sort of toddler groups to um, yoga. There, there's so many things, isn't there? There's something for everybody. Absolutely. Uh, we have a wide range of uh, events that uh, go on every week. Uh, we have a bridge club. We have um, uh, dance schools, drama schools. We have all sorts of activities for adults and children mm. uh, of all ages. Fantastic. Well, it's been absolutely amazing speaking to you today, guys, and I wish you a very busy 2024. Thank you. Thank you.